Hello everyone, this is Daisy, aka Professional High Priestess, and I wanted to drop a Let This Be a Lesson channeling. And I'm going to start posting more of these because I love entertainment and movies and things like that and music and I love and books and I want to be able to, you know, uh, use some of the different things that I've picked up from my entertainment, right? To connect them to 5D, 4D, um, you know, themes and values, etc. Okay, so let's get into it. So we all know this character. Yes, yes, yes. He who must not be named. I was a Harry Potter freak growing up. And like, I kind of was like Harry Potter growing up in the sense that I didn't have my aunt and an uncle, but I had my mom and she was just like them. So it was just two of them in one person. And same thing, living in like a, a, a room under the staircase and not knowing that um, I was like, I had gifts and, you know, I was very, like a lot of us, we know that we have certain titles and, and positions in the spiritual realm, right? Um, not all titles are created equally. Let's just be real. That's why some of us have more challenges and tribulations than others because we're great, you know, gifts and powers comes great responsibility, but also great protection as well, right? So anyways, God, I, so I always resonated and every summer, um, cause I, I, I would never get anything for Christmas or my birthday or whatever, but I always remember that the Harry Potter book would always come out in Leo season, right? Cause Harry is a Leo. So during the summer, every summer, I would get a, a new book. Um, so it would just be yeah, year after year, I, I would get another book and I would like finish reading it. I would spend the whole summer just reading the book. But so that's, I feel like that's what that led me into this realm because I was always like connected to those, to that like realm. And I always liked that type of stuff growing up. I, I felt like I started my studies early and I'd always read about history and Egyptians and all that stuff. So anyways, um, one story that really stood out to me was the story of how Voldemort himself was created. And I feel like the story is really important right now because of everything that we are going to be moving into regarding defeating of the dark forces. And I feel like his story is so, um, in alignment with what we've been channeling and sharing in regards to like, you know, karmic children and karmic debts and karmic consequences and Saturn and all that other stuff. Right. So let's 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 dive in let's talk and i feel like those who don't know about harry potter and you've only seen the movies you haven't read the book like this is just like a hella you're gonna love this okay and if you're a harry potter fan like i am you're gonna freaking love this too tom marvalo aka tom riddle jr aka lord voldemort okay people don't know this but lord voldemort is a direct descendant from um they were called the they had a specific last name but his grandfather and his mother and their brother, they were actually direct descendants of the House of Slytherin. And for those who understand the House of Slytherin, it's like Scorpionic energy, but it's like the four elements, right? But Scorpi, the, the House of Slytherin, they were known for just like their nefarious behavior and their, for their utilization of dark magic. So they come, so he, he comes directly from a lineage, but remember, he's half muggle, right? And we're going to talk about, and a muggle is basically someone that doesn't have spiritual powers, but that's important to, to understand and to hold on to. It's just the same way that Hitler was so against the Jews, but you guys know Hitler was half Jewish. Yes. People don't know that. Hitler was half Jewish, you know, but he was on drugs. He was on um, all kinds of like morphine and opiums and all types of like pharmaceuticals and shit like that. That's what drove a lot of his psychosis and the shit that he was doing. But remember, he was an Aries. I think, I believe he was, yeah, he's a Aries Taurus cusp, the 420. That's his birthday. That's why I feel like I don't celebrate 420. I never really did because that day people used to smoke hella weed and shit. And that's the same day of Hitler's birthday. You're opening hella portals and you're giving energy to hella portals. So I don't know. That's how I feel about that. Um, but Lord Voldemort, his family, they were called the Gaunt family. So his sister, his mama's name is um, Marope Gaunt. So Salazar Slytherin, who started the House of Slytherin, they are direct descendants, meaning they are directly connected to all that dark magic, um, all the like uh, sorcery, all of that stuff, right? So what ended up happening was, I feel like they had a descent. Um, they lost like their power and their status, and they ended up like living in poverty. And the only thing that they had was like their magical heirlooms, but no one would... Um, I feel like no one would accept it. So there was actually a family heirloom that you could see her wearing and she sold it for only 10 like coins because that's how much like her family, I believe they were outcasted and despised and known for dark magic and shit like that. Karma, right? But the dad and the brother really abused her and she, she you know, she was just like a low self-esteem, um, that type of thing. But she, she, was all, she was a magician though, you see, but she didn't use her powers for good. 
she went into town and she found and met Tom Riddle, AKA Voldemort's dad. He was a, he was a muggle. But the thing is, it's like their family was outcasted, you know, and she was also seen as like a, um, I think they, she was like a, a doing sex work or whatnot. But anyways, um, she fell in love with him, but knew that their families could never be because his family was rich. So she put spells on him. Oh, yes. Voldemort's mama was a karmic. She's the original karmic. But do you see how it, it, it came down from the, the family lineage? That's what we talk about karmic families, right? So she went and put spells on Tom Riddle to keep him in a relationship with her and in love with her and whatnot. And um, uh, his, he ran away from his family, gave up his, his family title, what not to be with her because it was the magic. You see, that's what a lot of your DMs do. And if they ghost you and they just do shit that's out of the ordinary, it's the magic. So she put magic on him. Um, and then what ended up happening was she gets pregnant, but she realizes like, I, I can't keep up the charade with him being under this magic. I want him to actually love me authentically because I'm going to have a baby and we're going to be together forever. I can't just keep on putting magic on him when the spell starts to wear off. The minute she took off that spell, she refused to do it again because she was like, I want him to love me authentically. He left her and went back home. Without a second notice, without caring about her pregnancy, nothing at all. At all. And then she tried to go back home to her brothers and uh, the father, and I believe they were either dead by then or um, they had like, were like, we're not fucking with you at all. It was either one of those two. I believe they had passed by then or they, oh, they went to jail. They went to jail. That's what happened. For something that they did. Notice the fall of power, right? But the, um, she went and had the baby. You guys know that Voldemort grew up, in, grew up an orphan, right? He grew up in an orphanage. She went and the day that she, she gave birth to Lord Voldemort, she told the people at the orphanage, I want him to look just like his father so that he can have a good lot in life because their family, remember, they were actually physically disfigured. That was one of their curses for playing with black magic and coming from that, that lineage of Slytherin, right? So she actually passed away after giving birth, but this is the thing here. She could have saved herself, right? She could have saved herself with her magic. She chose not to because she didn't want to bear the pain of having to raise a child whose father would never want them. And having to tell her child that I, I, you were born out of a lie. You were born out of my low self-esteem. You were born out of karmic energies. You were born because I put love spells on your father who they had a very rich family, right? And he was very good looking, Tom Riddle, but if they didn't want nothing to do with her or the baby. They, she couldn't bear having to put her child through that. So she, let, she died. She could have saved herself, you see? Uh -huh. But that slithering scorpionic energy, that was suicide. It was suicide the whole time. From the minute that she cast that love spell, she didn't see it that way, though. She didn't. So, here we go. Tom Riddle Jr., growing up in an orphanage, knowing that he has gifts and powers, but not understanding the lineage that he comes from. He didn't know that he came from that powerful lineage, though. He didn't know. The, the headmistress and them at the, um, uh, uh, um, what do you call it, at the uh, orphanage, they knew, though. They knew exactly what was going on, but they never told him. This is when Dumbledore came because he knew who his family was and that type of thing, right? The thing here with Voldemort is because the way in which that he was created, then he found out who he was when he was older. He found out about his mother and, and the house of Slytherin and the, the, uh, the magical heirlooms that were sold. And he was like, I grew up in poverty and feeling like I was nothing and I didn't have control. And this is what was going on the whole time. He actually, when he can't rose to power, he killed his, uh, his father and the whole family. Yes, Voldemort decimated that, the whole Riddle family with spells. Then what he did was he went to Dumbledore and he said, I want to be, I want to have the ultimate power. What do I do? And Dumbledore didn't know that this is what he would turn into because remember he was under Dumbledore's wing because Dumbledore saw the specialness in him. But the thing is, he didn't know that about the karmic energies, you see? The way that they found out is they had some special spells where um, you can take uh, people's um, memory and you put it in a bowl of water, which is why I tell you guys, be careful when, who you share water with. And then going inside that water, you can go and see that person's memory. But because, look it, because Voldemort tried to kill Harry, right? And he kind of like, um, but that, that kind of like, that's what was his downfall. Harry Potter had hella access to Voldemort's consciousness and secrets and all that. That's why he would always have those crazy dreams, which is what I told y'all about in my karmic channeling about my specific karmic. I knew everything about her and what she was doing because she was stepping into someone who already was spiritually protected and endowed and was doing magic but then it was backfiring, you see? You see? 
so crazy, so freaking crazy. I just realized that right now. Wow. Hmm. Oh, what ended up happening was Dumbledore didn't know that he was going to be evil. So he showed Harry all of this stuff to see, like, you know, Harry, this is why I kind of have a soft spot for, uh, for um, you know, Tom. And this is why you need to know his backstory so that when the war really starts, you understand where it starts from. And these parts of the story are going to be very essential for the battle later on because what ended up happening was Voldemort then when he was Tom Marvolo he split himself into seven pieces because Voldemort because Dumbledore told him well the way that to re to remain um uh, immortal is by putting yourself in objects that's why our ancestors built castles and statues and they had um heirlooms because they were putting their spirits into in order to live forever you see so they would have a continuous conduit from the spiritual to the material world because remember after Voldemort tried to kill Harry his body disintegrated and he had to hop from, di from um, different bodies to different bodies. He embodied a snake. He embodied this until he got, his, uh, um, he got his body back, which was in the form of a serpent. But you see how he was deformed, right? Because he played with magic. This is what I always tell you about these karmics. They deform themselves. They don't even know what they look like spiritually. They don't. You, we're just looking at them in the 3D form. When you play with that type of shit, you deform yourself. They can't even stand themselves in the spiritual realm, hence that Neptune card that I pulled in the channeling the other day. They can't sleep because the shit that they're seeing is not the shit that they can handle. So anyways, Voldemort split himself into seven places, Horcruxes. Uh-huh. This is what a lot of these men do when they're having children and reproducing everywhere, you see? This is what a lot of these karmics do when they're going out and reproducing everywhere. But the funny thing is about Horcruxes, <laughs> It's the same science as reproduction. You split yourself into seven uh, areas. You split your soul into seven places and you put it in um, uh, specific objects. And in order to kill you permanently, they have to destroy all these special objects, right? The Sorcerer Stone was one. That's the first book. There was different ones throughout all the different books. I think there, Nagini was one as well, the snake. So that's how he ended up living forever, right? Out of his quest for power and control from the karma, karmic energy that he was born out of and the lack of love and all, all that he experienced, right? Then coming to realize that he come from a powerful legacy, but it's been dismantled because of karmic energies. He was like, well, I'm going to live forever by doing this to my spirit, right? By tampering in the spiritual realm and gaining power spiritually. But unbeknownst to him in, in his quest for power and, and hunger and fame, right? It was his demise and his downfall because then he started like the, 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 the realm of dark arts and Draco Malfoy's father and that family and all that stuff was a part of that whole, whole system. But at the end, right, you guys remember even through all the whole story and all the battles that were fought and all the people that may have died that were fighting with the light, justice will still happen at the end and he was destroyed permanently. Every Horcrux was destroyed as well. So anyways... He never, and even then too, Voldemort never ever respected his mother, ever. He always hated her and resented her. He always hated the fact that he was half muggle. That's why he destroyed his whole entire uh, uh, muggle family when he rose to power. He went, he went apeshit, he went crazy because he was already karmic, you see? It just needed to be activated in him. It, it, <laughs> that's why I say sometimes, some people don't have a, um, some people don't have like a, a uh, uh, it's not that they don't have a choice or options because everybody got choices in my E40 voice. He was already destined to be karmic just based from the family lineage that he came from and what, the way that he was created. He chose his path, you see? And that's what Dumbledore was also trying to show Harry because he was like, Harry, you could have gone the same exact route as Voldemort, but you didn't. You experienced the same type of pain, but you didn't, you see? And I also wanted to use this as, a, as an example of, this is what happens when, with the misuse and abuse of magic to control the will of other people, right? Because his mother, you know, she had experienced so much pain and suffering and, you know, lack of love and neglect, it forced her into like, she put herself, it, it, it created the deepest type of like depravity and low self-esteem to the point where she had to use magic, you know, to trap someone else and, and have a baby. But the guilt of it, because eventually the guilt catches up once you realize if I really love this person, I would let them be free. The guilt of it ate her up to the point where she took, she was like, you know what, I can't do the spell anymore, right? So, you know, a lot of these, you know, for a lot of y'all watching, let's say for instance, you know, you may have been the person using love magic or whatnot or manipulation to keep a relationship or, you know, using children to keep a relationship or something like that. 
this is the con this this could be an example of the consequence, right? I'm not saying that your child is going to be Voldemort and try to like destroy the spiritual war of the world and have a battle and do all these things. But what I am saying is there's a lot of times we see this, it manifests in different forms as them growing up to be violent towards others, you know, ruining other people's lives in relationships, being, de de being uh, uh, um, uh, detached and avoidant, a runner, right? Not respecting other people's boundaries. This can manifest as them, you know, wanting to inflict the same pain that they experience onto other people, right? Not wanting to be here, wanting to commit suicide, being constantly depressed, right? It can manifest in, in a various amount of ways from, you know, constantly experiencing victimization from other people to being the victimizer of other people, right? But it's important to, you know, talk about that and outline that. That's the main reason why I made that because let this be a lesson, about what happens when you misuse and abuse magic. But you see, that's what her family had done, the house of Slytherin, <laughs> you see? And that's why it fell the way that it did and it has the association that it did, right? So be careful with the legacies that you're creating when you're, when you're playing in those realms and the love is so, you're, you're so desperate and so codependent and you, know, you, just, it just, you just have to have what you want when you want it when you want it, right? Because a lot of karmics, they operate out of that reptilian mind energy. Then you get shit like this with a nigga with slit nose, creating hella karma. And, and havoc, right? But then you create people like us out of the process that will defeat that bullshit and stop your lineage for good. Right there. So anyways, y'all, I just wanted to leave that channeling out. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, and let me know how you feel about it in the comment section below. Once again, my name is Daisy, aka Professional High Priestess, and um, that's it.